Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So if you watched my most anticipated books of 2020, you might have noticed I left off romance books. And that is because I had so many most anticipated romance books that I wanted to put it into a separate video. These are going to be my most anticipated 2020 romance releases. Now, a couple things to take note of before I get into them. For the most part, indie romance authors don't tend to announce their books until like a month or two before. Whereas with traditionally published books, they usually get announced like a year before it's gonna be published. Indie authors tend to announce it and then put it out right away. So there's probably going to be a ton of more romance books that I'm excited about, but they just haven't been announced yet. And also a lot of these that I do have from indie authors have nothing about them. <laughs> There's just like the vague idea of a book, whether it's just something with a title and no synopsis and no cover, or it's like an untitled something. So some of these are just gonna be like, I know this author is coming out with a book, but I don't know anything else about it. But yeah, let's just get into it. I'm gonna go by release date. So in January, two of these have already come out as of filming this video. And if I'm looking over here, it's because my laptop's right here. So the first one is Creed by Penelope Douglas and this came out on the 13th of January. If you are in the romance community you've probably seen a ton about this book. Everyone's been reading it and loving it and raving about it. I hear it's like super taboo. All I know about it is that it's a girl who I think her parents die so she goes to live with her father's stepbrother and his three sons in the mountains and from what I know, she has relations with all of them. So like in typical Penelope Douglas fashion, it's very taboo and I'm really excited. I really like Penelope Douglas. The next one also already came out. It came out on the 16th and that is Fighting for Rain by B.B. Easton. This is the second book in this trilogy. It is post-apocalyptic romance. I gave the first book five stars and I've been so excited to read the second book, but I've been holding off because the third book, Dying for Rain, comes out on the 30th, so in a couple days. So I'm planning on reading those back to back because the first book ended on a cliffhanger and I didn't want to read the second book until I could read the third book, but I'm really excited for these. The first book takes place during the four days leading up to the apocalypse and it's about the two main characters who meet and need each other for survival because the world has gone to shit because everyone is anticipating this apocalypse. And yeah, I really loved the first book. So the next one comes out in February. That is the sequel to The Bridge Kingdom and it's called The Traitor Queen. This is by Danielle L. Jensen. I did an entire video of me reading this book. It was the book that I read for my blind date with a book and I really really liked it. It's a fantasy romance. Again, this book ended on a cliffhanger so I've been so excited to read the sequel. I actually think it's being released as an audiobook first so I don't actually know when the physical book comes out but the audiobook is coming out in February. The first one was basically about this girl who is sent on a mission to marry like the enemy king but she's really there to like infiltrate and kill him and she ends up falling in love with him of course. Then we have the third book in the Thorn Chapel series by Sierra Simone which is called Harvest of Sighs. So this the first book in the series was A Lesson in Thorns which is my favorite rom- well one of my favorite romance books. I don't know for sure that this is coming out in February. There's no other release date. Like it just says February. There's no like date. There's also no cover. So not 100% sure, but Goodreads says February. I'm really excited for this one. I haven't read the second book yet because the reviews make me nervous, but I know that I'm gonna wanna read the third book right after I read the second one, so I've been waiting. <laughs> okay, the next one comes out on February 4th, and that is The Worst Best Man by Mia Sosa. So this is about a wedding planner who gets left at the altar, and then she gets this big job opportunity to plan this like high profile wedding, but she ends up having to work with her ex-fiance's brother. If it wasn't already awkward enough because his brother ditched her at the altar, they didn't get along to start with. So a lot of tropes that I like, very excited for that one. So the next one comes out on February 4th and that is A Heart of Blood and Ashes by Mila Vane. This is a fantasy romance that I've really had my eye on. I saw, I can't remember who I saw say this, it might have been the publisher that said this, but 
I saw somewhere on Twitter that someone was like, it's basically the hundred, but if Clark and Rowan had a romance, <laughs> which really intrigued me. Also, the cover is just like calling to me. And it's basically about these like warring kingdoms and the king and queen were murdered. So their son sets out to get vengeance on the person who murdered them. And he finds out that the enemy king's daughter was like the one who did it. So he seeks vengeance on her. The next book comes out on February 24th and that is A Worthy Opponent by Katie Robert. This is the third book in this Wicked Villains series. This whole series is like Disney villains in our modern world. Um, so the first book was Jasmine and Jafar and then the second book was Hades, Meg, and Hercules. And this one is going to be Tinkerbell and Hook, which I'm very much excited for because in the first two books, Tinkerbell is a character that we see a lot. So I'm really excited to see what her story is. The next one comes out on March 3rd and it is probably my number one most anticipated romance book and that is Wild at Heart by K.A. Tucker. This is the sequel to The Simple Wild which is one of my all-time favorite books. That book just has such a special place in my heart and I'm so excited for the sequel. I haven't even read what the synopsis is about because I kind of just want to go into it and be surprised. But this is continuing the story of Kala and Jonah and their romance, which kind of makes me nervous because I'm like, okay, something's gonna go wrong in their relationship for this book to have any plot and I'm not ready for it. But regardless, I'm very excited. Also the cover, is beautiful. The next book is The Honey Don't List by Christina Lauren. I'm a little bit on the fence about this one because I feel like everyone that I've read I've pretty much liked less than the one before it. <laughs> so I don't know. We'll see. The synopsis kind of reminds me of the movie Set It Up because it's about two assistants and their bosses are like a married couple but they're struggling in their relationship so the assistants are trying to like keep them together. I don't know. It sounds good, I'm gonna give it a try. This is probably going to be like my make it or break it with Christina Lauren. If I don't like this, I'm probably not gonna read any more of their adult romances. The next one is Dear Enemy by Kristen Callahan. I 100% just added this to my list because of the title. So it's about two people who when they were kids, they hated each other and he dated her sister. And 10 years later, he comes back into her life because he is now a like famous Hollywood star and her sister stole something very valuable from him so he needs her help like to get it back I think. A trope that I just really really love is like I love enemies to lovers but like an extra layer to that is if they were enemies when they were kids <laughs> or like when they were younger and then now they're adults and they're coming back into each other's lives. I just really like that. Okay, the next book is Cruel by Trisha Wolf. Trisha Wolf wrote the Born Darkly series or duet that I really love. And so this is another dark romance from her. The first line says, I was born a psychopath, but he made me a killer. It's about two people who it sounds like they team up together to get revenge on one person. The synopsis is pretty vague, but I really loved this author's other books, so I'm really excited for this one. And this comes out on March 31st. The next book is You Deserve Each Other by Sarah Hogle. And this one sounds really interesting because it is about two people who are engaged. So it says it is a lovers to enemies to lovers romantic comedy. So it's about two people who fell in love, they got engaged, and through the course of their engagement and planning the wedding, they started to despise each other. They both want out of the engagement, but whoever ends the engagement has to pay all the non-refundable wedding bills. So <laughs> they're both like wanting out of the relationship but neither of them wants to pay all the bills, so they're trying to make the other person want out. It totally reminds me of How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days, and I'm assuming that through the course of like trying to make each other break up the engagement, they fall back in love. And this one comes out on April 7th. The next one is To Have and To Hoax by Martha Waters. This is a historical romance. This is about two people who are already married to each other, and four years ago, they had a huge fight, 
and haven't spoken to each other since. But then the woman receives a letter that her husband had been thrown from a horse and that he was really injured and she is like overcome with concern and she rushes to his side only to find him completely fine and well and drinking in a tavern and that makes her really upset so she wants to get back at him and like make him feel what she felt so she pretends to be sick and i'm just excited for this i don't think i've read any romances about like an already married couple who have fallen out of love and it sounds like it's gonna be really funny so that one also comes out on april 7th the next one is the fourth book in that wicked villain series that i mentioned this this one is called The Beast and it comes out on May 10th and so this one is about Belle, the Beast, and Gaston. It says, once upon a time I fell in love with two men. Their feelings for me were matched only by their hatred for each other. Yeah, I don't know much about this one. These are characters that so far in the series we haven't really met yet in terms of like what's going on. I'm not sure. It could be like a polyamorous situation like the second book was or it could not, I don't know. Either way, I'm excited. I'm really loving this series and I hope she continues to write like a, a ton more. I just really wanna get to a Maleficent romance. Like that's all I want in life, okay? <laughs> so the next one is How to Catch a Queen by Alyssa Cole. This is the first book in the spinoff to the Reluctant Royals series, which I absolutely love. So this comes out on May 26th, and it is about an arranged marriage between a woman and a king. The next one is Something to Talk About by Meryl Wilsner. This is very exciting. So this is a female-female romance that is being published by Berkeley. It is Berkeley's first female-female romance, which on the one hand, I'm very, very excited for this. On the other hand, I'm like, come on, Berkeley. It's 2020. Like, where have you been? But regardless, I'm excited for it. It is about a woman in Hollywood and her assistant. They are photographed by paparazzi and immediately all of the media thinks that they are a couple and they become like a big news story and they're being followed and photographed all the time and it's interfering with the new movie that she has coming out. Despite their relationship being a rumor, they're put into so many like situations together where they realize they actually have feelings for one another. Very excited for this one. The next one is Take a Hint, Danny Brown by Talia Hibbert. This is the sequel to Get a Life, Chloe Brown. And it says, it is about a young woman who agrees to fake date her friend after a video of him rescuing her from the office building goes viral. And this one comes out on June 23rd. The next one is The Bride Bet by Tessa Dare. This is going to be the fourth book in the Girl Meets Duke series. This is my favorite series by Tessa Dare, so I'm really excited for this one. And the blurb says, how to lose a duke in 10 years, <laughs> which I, actually, I just mentioned how to lose a guy in 10 days. So this one follows Nicola and it's about her when she was younger her and the heir to a duke made a pact that if in 10 years they were still single they would marry each other and she thought it was a joke but 10 years later that duke shows up and he's like here to collect his bride so this one comes out on august 25th oh my god there's a cover oh my god this is the first time i've seen the cover sorry that was the first time I'd seen a cover for this. So the next one is Well Played by Jen DeLuca. This is the sequel to Well Met, which was one of my favorite romances of last year. So this one is about Stacy, and she has had a fling at the, the Ren Fair for a long time. And one day she receives a very romantic email and for the next nine months she's been emailing back and forth with the person who she assumes is her fair fling but it turns out it's not the person that she thinks it is and she's been falling in love with a stranger so yeah i'm really excited for this i'm excited to get back into the ren fair setting and this one comes out on september 29th and then the last one has no release date other than 2020 no cover and no synopsis <laughs> Um, so this is Motel by Penelope Douglas. From what I'm going to guess is that this is going to be a companion to The Birthday Girl because in that book there was a motel and a character who 
worked at a motel and who had like a thing with a mysterious guy. So I'm assuming this is gonna be that story, which if that's the case, I'm so excited for this. So yeah, those are all of my 2020 romance books that I'm so excited for. Definitely let me know in the comments if there's any that I missed that you think I would enjoy. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Thank you.